So here at Experian, we've been successful in guiding our clients in the industry and developing automated decision strategies to help ensure capital, services, and goods meant for small businesses and small business owners do not get in the hands of bad actors or fraudsters. And we do this today by combining our advanced analytic capabilities with highly predictive fraud attributes, but also importantly, by leveraging our internal fraud expertise we have decades of experience in developing fraud decision strategies. And they gained this experience by working within financial institutions. Today, I actually plan to briefly demonstrate how you too can leverage a set of new experience capabilities that combines advanced analytics, uh, highly predictive fraud attributes, and our experience ex fraud expertise to you too develop similar decision strategies for your own business to help weed out specifically those bad actors before you give them access to your goods and services as well as capital. And we'll begin today with a quick demonstration by looking at an example of an online credit application you're hosting on your own website where customers are then applying for those goods, services, and capital. We work with many clients across multiple industries, but today we're demonstrating an application for a credit card designed specifically for small businesses. Not all the information you find on this application is really necessary for us to passively, consistently identify the bad actors, but just know our solution doesn't require you to change or update your existing customer-facing application as long as you're already collecting the following key elements on your application. Things like a business name, business address, a phone number, a federal employee identification number, a company website, an application's first and last name, as well as a business email address. The idea is we're not yet introducing any type of customer friction during the initial fraud review. We're using the existing information you're already collecting every day to identify key fraud signals. All the other information you're collecting while really important to you isn't necessarily for us to generate the fraud signals. So now just imagine your application has been completely filled out by the applicant and now they're ready to hit that submit button. Once the client hits submit, the information is then sent to your internal system but then in parallel, you wanna send the same information we just asked for to Experian. And then we'll use this information to then passively highlight concerns of fraudulent areas on your application. So on your side, it'll look like something like this. Now you don't need to recreate this whole dashboard view exactly like this, but really just understand this is a visual representation of the concept. And we wanna then fully automate a solution without needing your analysts or your writers to really focus on identifying the riskiest application, identify by our fraud capabilities. Now, by leveraging our solution, you can really get a sense of whether there's first-party fraud, third-party fraud, or synthetic ID fraud. And our solution will then highlight and flag eight categories specific to high-risk conditions. We'll start by looking at the entity, ensuring the business address and the tax ID are verified. Probably what you're already doing today. The physical address check is next to ensure the location is actually suitable to run a business out of, and you don't have a business, for example, that's running out of a federal penitentiary. We're then also validating the business has active corporate filing by checking against all 50 states, and the filing isn't canceled, dissolved, or recently activated in order to submit the actual application. Moving down now, we're also checking against the email to ensure it's deliverable and that it's not a brand new email address and actually using the same domain uh, for the business website. Now, we're also looking at the website to ensure the website is legitimate and not created recently for the sole intention of committing fraud. A key signal we look to is also to ensure the person or the applicant is actually associated with the business and there's a connection between the two. The phone number is the next area we want to look at to make sure that it's belonging to the business because we know fraudsters like to uh, submit phone numbers and email address that they own and actually associate to the business at all. Lastly, we want to make sure there's actually activity behind the business. It's not a shell company or shelf company created with the sole intention of committing fraud. All of these checks and more can be completed by our Sentinel Fraud Suite. The goal today is to really demonstrate the art of the possible. And if you're interested in having Experian, working with Experian, help reimagine your automated decision strategy so you can add effective fraud checks today, please reach out to this form on this page.
Let's work together and protect your business and small business alike.